the button has been pressed. Hello, happy people. I'm Kat and welcome to Copycat Vlogs Madeira Part 2. Some of you know that I visited Portugal before we explored this wonderful island of Madeira. And when it came to choosing another vacation place, I realized that there are some places that I still have to explore here in Madeira. And here we are. I came back. Currently, I'm in the parking lot of 25 waterfalls, or in Portuguese, it's called Rabacal. Hope I'm not murdering the language completely. And it's translated as fairy tale forest. So we couldn't fly to Madeira for two days because of strong winds and some rain. But the good thing, and I'm trying to see positive things here, is that once it's rainy, you get a good chance to see amazing waterfalls. Well, that's why the hike is called 25 Waterfalls. So, so far we've been driving and the scenery has been changing a lot. It's already been quite fascinating to watch the sky going from clear blue to super grayish and foggyish, as you can see it is now. And yes, let's go, let's explore. I'm excited to be in the island again, even though the first um, couple of days it wasn't letting me in and we were just chilling in Lisbon, waiting while, you know, when we can take the plane. So now we're here, let's go and follow my journey. There is a bit of a traffic jump here. You can't really pass because there is a nice ferry boat in front of us. Wow, she's climbing so high. That's impressive. This is a this is a mountain cow. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, look at her. Um, um, um. So itchy. These people, these paparazzi follow me everywhere. And bouquet that I gathered for her, I didn't even get a chance to give. This is crushing like my... this really nice cafe you can go to while hiking on the way and it's really busy during lunchtime but way quieter after oh hello there <laughs> these are madeira's birds madeira's firecrests they're called they are endemic to the island so hey followers um just wanted to show you this is an ancient water system called levada and uh before many years ago when people needed water they created this type of water systems which passed on the water to the plantations so all the crops could be watered 
I think it's pretty cool and uh, we are on the way to the 25 fountains. Already could see some of them over there, but just wanted to share this curious fact. That's why I love Madeira for these cute little little guys. Hey guys, they're looking so cute. All staring into the camera. And then we drove to these beautiful cliffs. And this is the part of the video where one is supposed to meditate. arrive to this place at 7 p.m. this is how full it is there is literally one car <laughs> which is ours and little kitty sweet little kitty and this marvelous view so the sunset is supposed to be happening, but it's just looking darkish. It wouldn't be my vlog if I don't show some food. So here we have amazing fish soup, some veggies with baked potato and beans and bolo do caco, traditional Madeiran bread. Bolo means cake, but there is no cake. <laughs> and it has a lot of garlic. Yummy. We are about to arrive to one of the markets that the local has recommended to us and it happens every Sunday. Today's Sunday, it's called Santa da Sera Market and currently parking is a bit of an issue because there are so many people here and so many cars. I've been feeling unfortunately under the weather these days. My left ear has been hurting a lot. I wish I could only show the happy part of the traveling but sometimes this is the reality sometimes yeah i've been suffering a little bit and uh, just took the pill and hoping it will get better soon and um yeah at the moment i'm just gonna focus on exploring the market <laughs> Some people seem to be enjoying the Sunday market mood. I'm very excited. This is a comeback of the year. I'm about to meet my lifelong friend. To be honest, I'm coming to Madeira just to meet this guy or girl, actually. I don't know exactly. I missed you. I missed you. Can I pet you? Yes, I can pet you, you pretty boy. Yes, that's nice, right? Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? How can I how can I pet you if you're like there? 
Yes, that's good. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you came for a good scratch. Okay. Hola. Hola. Uh -huh. Very good. Very uh -huh. good. Beautiful boy. The owners told me that this parrot is called Max, and he's been living here for 30 years. I don't know how realistic it is. They said that this place has been going on for 40 years, and this guy is 30 years. Are you? Tell me, Max. Are you 30 years? Enjoying too much the massage right now, right? <laughs> and they said that they want to get an Instagram account for him and call it Max the Parrot. So guys, we have to tune in soon and just watch Max the Parrot and his adventures. Because we fell in love with this guy so much that we even visit Santana just to see Max the Parrot. <laughs> I can do this for hours. Of course, it's my duty since I'm in Madeira. Just to come and scratch you. <laughs> Not so many people give you scratches, I see. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> he did like, oh, oh, you sweetie pie. Oh. Huh? Okay, more? You asking for more? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's something new. He didn't make this noise. <laughs> well, it was worth returning Mama. here to see this beautiful gentleman. What can I say? Now it's my duty to come back to Sankana again and check on Mars. And hopefully he lives for another hundred years. 